Hi friends, I am Mrs. Ragini. I am back with a simple curry for you know either for rice or chapati or whichever you know even you can have it for naan also this will taste really really yummy and this i am going to make it with soya soya is rich in protein so you know every alternate day or you know just weekly twice you can incorporate soya in your regular meal so dear friends so i thought i should share couple of recipes with soya so today i am using some soya this is a meal maker you can just use this if you want you know you can just cut it when i was a child you know my mom always used to make this and we used to become a fool we used to think that these are mutton pieces and we used to enjoy this so if you are feeling like you know eating mutton or so you can just make this and have it and that too today i am going to make it with nice sorrel leaves that is gongura so this combination with sorrel leaves are mind blowing so you can just have it with rice or even roti it will be really really awesome so dear friends this i am going to keep aside and here first just add some oil in a pan how we make our you know mutton curry the same way you can just make it and here in another pan here also we are going to add oil because here in this pan we are going to cook the soya that is the meal maker and beside we are going to cook our sorrel leaves so first we are going to saute this sorrel leaves and some green chilies and some garlic so this we are going to saute it aside and in the last once our curry is done then we are going to add this cooked sorrel leaves into this so let's here in a pan the oil is hot so just add the garlic and some green chilies so here what i did i have taken the sorrel leaves that is gongura and you know i i've just plucked the leaves so here i just nicely washed it and just add it into this and we are just going to fry this first till this becomes nice and soft we are going to fry it just mix once if you want you can add little bit salt also and mix it once more and just reduce the flame and let this cook so here in the other pan we are going to add some onions we are just going to saute it little bit till it is slightly colored friends here the sorrel leaves have nicely cooked just add very little water and this because this has slightly thickened so just add little bit water and this we are going to cook it for another 2 minutes by covering with a lid because anyway you know don't need to worry about the green color because this is not in green color because sorrel leaves are little bit sour so there is no green color here so you can just cover it with a lid and we can just switch off the flame after 2 minutes and here the onions are also slightly colored in this we are going to add some ginger garlic paste and some turmeric and some coriander powder and some red chili powder be careful because we already added green chilies in the sorrel leaves so you can just see and add it and some tomatoes if you want you can add tomatoes if you want you can skip the tomatoes because anyway we are adding gongura it is little bit sour so if you want you can just skip the tomatoes and make it because i want little bit gravy so i am adding the tomatoes you can just add some water and let this tomatoes become slightly mashed and then we are going to add you know just 1 tablespoon of coconut paste or you can add either coconut powder also so just 1 tablespoon it's good enough just to give little bit of thickness that's it if you want you can add it if you want you can just skip it also so dear friends you can see the tomatoes are nicely mashed in this we are going to add now this coconut paste and just mix it once just little bit thick so you can just add some more of water and we are going to cook this for 2 minutes then we are going to add our meal maker that is our soya so dear friends here you can see this is nicely boiling and slightly oil is also oozing out now in this we are going to add this soya just squeeze out the water and add it and mix it once if you want a gravy then you can add some more of water and let it boil for some more time if you want like this you can just have it like this but i'm just going to add some more of water and then our gongura that is the sorrel here i switched off the flame 
So even that I am going to add it now. So just very little water and now our gongura and just mix it. If you want this cooked sorrel, you can just put it in a blender and make it into a paste and add it into this. Whichever way you want, you can do it. And I am going to add little bit of water in this. Dear friends, couple of times I have already told in my videos, whenever I get the gongura, that is the sorrel leaves, I freshly get it from market and you know, I wash it and just fry it and keep it in the refrigerator. Whenever I make such type of curries, I just remove it and make it you know you can just keep it for one week or so you can just use it whenever you want to we are going to just check the taste once and switch off the flame in the last some garam masala if you want you can add it or if you don't want you can skip the garam masala also and lastly some coriander just switch off the flame if you want to increase the gravy quantity you can add some more of water and just boil for a minute or so then you can switch off the flame so now here our soya gongura curry is all ready so you can enjoy with either rice roti anything dear friends this is going to be awesome i make this every week either you know the soya or you know the soya granules anything i use it and i make different kinds of varieties so dear friends i hope you like this simple very nice curry see you in another session with some more recipes <laughs>